No one cares about me. My parents are going to kill me. I'm worthless. I feel so alone. It's never going to get any better. No one would miss me if I were gone. Hey, ugly. Everyone hates you. You're so gay. Why don't you just go kill yourself? A lot of the time it's kind of brushed off, like, oh, they're just asking for attention. And it's really important to know that while it could be a cry for attention, it's not something that should be dismissed. It's definitely something that should be addressed because it's the youth life and, you know, that shouldn't be taken lightly. These are people who are extremely overwhelmed by life circumstances. Individually, they feel they have no other option than suicide. When we think about children, they, they don't always connect their thoughts like adults can at some times. So then leads to, you know, impulsivity and some choices, which is um, very alarming for our, our culture. Teens don't necessarily grasp how the permanence of suicide, that that's the end, that's over. It's just so sad and unfortunate. However, there's some common warning signs that you should be looking for. Kids who are experimenting with uh, substances and alcohol uh, may have a higher risk of suicidal behaviors. Kids who are experiencing bullying at school, both in person and especially online, LGBTQ identifying kids are four times more likely to attempt suicide. If you talk to trans youth, you will find that many of them have made at least two attempts. That's a horrific statistic. If you see some changes in those behaviors, if they're all of a sudden their grades are not good or they're not hanging out with their friends where they were before, that's a good time to look at it a little bit closer and ask for some help or say, hey, what's going on? And more importantly, listen to them. Sometimes it takes no more than a 15 second conversation. The parents assume, gee, he doesn't like me coming into his bedroom, so I felt if I knocked on the door, he'd be really mad and yell. Fighting that impulse, that fear is, is really important and saying, look, I'm here for you, I care, I wanna know what's happening with you. You're not gonna give them the idea to have suicidal thoughts by asking. Um, I think that's a, that's a big fear of, of some people. I would rather ask 100 times than to not ask one time. Suicidal thoughts or even suicide attempts are gonna be symptoms of mental health disorders. If they had a medical disorder, you would be at Eastern Maine or whichever hospital in a heartbeat and having that all taken care of, this is the same equivalent. We do a lot to try to break down that stigma um, around mental health, especially in our really young population. The reason it has stigma is because we're all afraid to talk about it. Having that open dialogue helps. If the door is open, even if they open it a crack, you have to walk through it. You tell them that you're not alone, you're never alone. You may feel like you're the only person in the whole world that's felt this way, but you're not.